All right. There we go. Recording started. We're all good now. We are just going to go loot this thing real quick. Can't deconstruct. Oh, Jesus. A lot of things. I do not have enough inventory space for that and a ship full worth of stuff. Now look at it skyrocket. We definitely will hit uh, phase one by the end of this. Right, let's see. Grab you. Deconstruct. As I as I remember, there was not a lot left in here. I left some aluminum behind. I'm not gonna have enough inventory for everything in here. Not at all. Not even close to enough inventory space. So this fusion reactor, I'm assuming, takes uranium. So if we go and grab the uranium from the other side that I know is there, what does that do? Unless I'm wrong, and that's not what uranium is used for. If it's not, then I, I don't fucking know. That's not what uranium is used for. Who would have thunk? Uh, grab the cobalt. Head back now. So from the looks of it, we need at least one oxygen capsule to make it here and back. But I feel like I'm going to make it back just fine. Deposit everything, grab the little crate down there, run back. Then come back here and grab everything once more. That's how we'll do it. I like how it pauses me, but not my oxygen. Also, I can find a reliable source of aluminum that's not wreckage sites. That would be pretty cool, too. But I'm not a picky person. I just, you know, want resources to be handed to me so I don't have to go out and forage for them. I'll make it back in time, right? I should be able to. I don't have music going. We can have music because it's not a music-based game. We'll leave this at 15. I'm back. Oh, what is this? Cobalt and ice? I have... Literally did not grab any cobalt. Uh, miscellaneous would be aluminum and fabric. Consumable stuff. That with me. Now let's head back. I'm hoping someone gets on Overwatch after I get bored of this game. Because I do want to play that later. And if not, then I guess I'll just solo heal. I'm going to lose almost every game because I can't carry as a healer. And it seems like that's what people want, is a healer to get 7,000 damage and also get over 10k healing. Which isn't feasibly possible. I mean, it is if the rounds last like 20 minutes, but they shouldn't be lasting that long. 
But I don't know. We'll we'll solo queue and see what happens if no one gets on. Marco should be on later. Actually, I'll probably text him right now. All right, there we go. I just messaged him. I'm gonna need some water soon. I should be able to make it one more trip back to the spaceship before I need it. I would play with Fabian and them too, but they normally don't play till late at night, so. Alright, immediately drink some water. Throw you in there. Throw you in there. And we are out of storage. Hmm. I guess I'll make some, some more. Oh, how's my food going? 100%. So what do I do? Do I just... Oh, oh, that's chance to get seed back is 100%. Let's see, where's the lockers? There we go. That's what I speak for excess. Alright, back to it. I have to get more water soon in real life. Oh, it's a meteor shower, cool. I can get aluminum that way. Titanium, titanium, cobalt, cobalt, ice, no aluminum. I'm taking the worst way to get this, to this ship right now. I see some aluminum down there. Alright, time to grab the rest of our shit. Oh my god, I'm about to make one more trip? Are you kidding me? There'll be C's in here because I don't need that many. Deconstruct. Grab food. Be on our way back now. Yeah, yeah, auction's low. I'll be fine. Aluminum. Any aluminum at all. Now 
going to be a no-go on the aluminum. Damn, that sucks. But I thought one meteor at least dropped. Well, a meteor did, I just don't want to go back and get it. Oh, time for the flashbang. Of uh, the screen getting really bright and us not being able to see anything in real life of how bright it gets. My base is looking snazzy, might I say. Right, let's see. Consumables. Miscellaneous. Titanium and iron. Silicon and magnesium. 91%. How are our blueprints looking? We just unlocked drill three. We're about to get the veggie tube three. Which is going to be expensive. Let's see, what can we do? What can we do? Aluminum. Hey, more aluminum. It's right outside my base. Cool. There's the veggie tube. How much does it cost? Aluminum, silicon, magnesium, water bottle. Need the water bottles. Here we go. So we do this. Oh, they're big. What do they only go? They only go outside. Silicon. Go do that, get more power. We got to put you in there, put you in there, put you there. Where are the rest of my things? There they are. How much power am I consuming and how much do I need? Not enough. Cool. Doesn't even tell me how much I need still. <laughs> so we'll put everything away. Let's assume... Because I can't build any tier 2s. They require aluminum and I just spent all my aluminum. One iron, two cobalt, one silicon.
we will craft four and see how what that gets us. Hopefully it's enough. There we go. Three was enough. Look at our oxygen skyrocket. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit it. We're so gonna hit this. How much spare power do we have? Six. Cool. So not enough. Uh, are you done? You are. Cool. My squash. You're almost done. Only 25 for eggplants? Alright, so squash is another way to go. Eggplants give you nothing. I do want to deconstruct these guys. Put them over here in the corner where they're not going to bother anyone. go a whole bunch of heaters what did I dismantle that cost two titanium and an iron I found out what I dismantled that cost two titanium and an iron Let's start building, increasing our house. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need a ladder now, which is one iron, one cobalt. Cobalt. New message received. Make this all glass up here. Gotta check out what this message says. You managed to sneak more information. I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why for now, and if you manage to heat the planet enough, some cave should become accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing you can any communication message interrupted.
I think they want me to build it at an altitude because of the meteors. Alright, we're going to do that. Now we need resources, so we're going to go do this real quick. Gather a whole bunch of cobalt. Cobalt, iron, titanium is what I'm after. Nothing else. Maybe ice too. We'll get some ice too. No magnesium, no silicon. It's so easy to spot just because of the giant bright blue it is. I like all this cold butter and iron is going to go away the second I get back to my base. I said all glass on that top floor. To hit 175. We'll see what happens. I've really stripped this place of almost all its resources in the vicinity. Get all this cobalt for oxygen tanks. when we hit 175. Oh, the sky is blue. I just not realize that. The sky used to not be blue. Does that mean my O2 will last longer now that we have enough uh, fucking shit in the atmosphere? Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, it looks so cool. See everything. How much do you cost? Iridium rods. I'm already having enough trouble finding iridium. Now we need iridium rods. 28.5 though per second. Alright, here we are. Gonna happen. Advanced craft station. What's next? Clouds? They didn't even say anything. Advanced craft station. Three aluminum, titanium, magnesium, silicon. So now we need to find aluminum. And I know just where to look, because there's a spot I have not checked out yet. In order to get there, we need some of this stuff. I don't know how far it will take. 
We will grab one more just in case. I feel like we might need it. Alright, now we sprint. I have no text from Marcos about Overwatch tonight. I really don't feel like solo queuing for Overwatch, so... Probably won't even do that. Alright, main priority is Aluminum. Aluminum, Aluminum, Aluminum. What are we gonna do? That's right, get aluminum. No aluminum. I mean, I got it for dismantling the solar panel, but... Not enough. Uranium rod. in here. Can I get in here? That'd be a no. I want to go explore this way. I have two more capsules, so I should be fine. If you were to should be, probably gonna, you know, die and never survive. But who cares? I feel like I have so many valuable resources on me. That would be honestly a great shame if I lost. Okay, uh, we don't need cobalt that bad, or iron to be honest. You know what, magnesium, why do I have so much magnesium? Alright, now we start heading back. We cannot lose any of this. I think if we just head this way, we'll be fine. Because this giant mountain, I think, was blocking is blocking me off. More aluminum. The power I have right now. Yeah, because that's the little thing I went to before. Oh, I have so much aluminum now. I'll make it. I'll make it. Um, uh, I'll be fine. Like I said, we have so much oxygen. Oh, so it looks like those caves are open.
I feel like once I get an upgraded backpack, I need to start moving to someplace else that has more resources. Probably over there where the cave is, to be honest. I'm back. And I got things. Living compartment corner. Recycling machine. What does that do? Alright, advanced craft station. We'll go right here I now see what it does I also don't have enough power right now so we will get some of these guys cobalt cobalt iron silicon magnesium iron silicon magnesium cobalt cobalt be enough yeah gonna need more cobalt after this but whatever facing the right way it is there we go so i need three super alloys also, I'm going to hit clouds in no time. Alright, are you guys done yet? You're not. So, we need aluminum, aluminum, super alloy. Two of everything. And do we need the cobalt? We do need cobalt for super alloy. Go grab a whole bunch. And some iron, too, while we're out here. Honestly, why not? We're always out of it. much cobalt because I also want to create more uh, solar panels. Oh, we're being bombed again? That was quick. Yeah, I had like a two hour difference between the last one and this one. And uh, yeah, the last one and the one I had before that, and now it's just happening back to back. Alright, we need two super alloys. I'm gonna backpack tier three. Before I do that, drop everything off so it doesn't go flying everywhere. It does kind of suck that I just spent all my resources building a thing up top, but we gotta move where the resources are, and the resources are not over here. I need that ladder. Cobalt, 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 cobalt. Whole bunch of iron and titanium.
Yeah, so much. Alright, how much does it for a door? Silicon. So we just need a whole bunch of iron and titanium. How much do we have? Not a lot of titanium, to be honest. But it's two iron per, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight titanium. One iron, two iron for a foundation and a staircase. And then one iron and titanium for a door. So we... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of one of those. One silicon for a staircase, or for the door. And then I'm pretty sure all my power goes worldwide. Yeah, powers all machines on the planet, so I can leave all my solar panels and stuff here, which is really good. Also, why do I have no power right now? Oh, I do, it's just dark. I honestly think by the time I finish building my base, it's going to be phase two. Of the planet. I should have brought food. Hydration level low. Uh, I'll go explore the building over there. And hopefully there is some water and food that I left behind. If not, then I'm... F-U-C-K-E-D! Fucked. That is what I am. Entirely fucked if I do not find anything over here. Alright, let's see. I want to build right here. door on this side. Ladder. Ladder is not connecting the way I want it to. What the fuck? There we go. There we go. At our base. We run over here as fast as we can to get food. And or water. Well, there's food. It's not water though. I'm playing such a risky game. Should have just ran back to my base. It would have been quicker. It would have been quicker. It would have been quicker. No. Water. I'm going to make it. Get me out of here. So this is our new base over here. I mean, this is empty. I'll delete it. 
Not empty. into there we go and now we are going to line up our lockers along this wall Pause it everything. Doesn't have to look nice. Alright, this is gonna be tedious, but it's gotta get done. We need closer to where all the resources are. And where our base currently is, it is not. We can leave a lot of it behind, which is good. It's just most of it we do have to bring. If there's an option to get uh, more agility boots, or whatever it would be called. Also, hey look, the clouds are forming. Like, if there's a way to get the these guys, the agility boots, that would make this process a lot easier. I just realized my music is so loud. So it's kind of difficult to hear me. Speaking of which... Alright, let's see. What do I want to start bringing with me? I can leave pretty much everything here. this stuff. Oh, this is going to be such a painful thing to go back and forth to. This is going to be horrendous. Let me see real quick. Advanced crafter. Jetpack and increased displacement speed. Two rocket engines, titanium, which apply uranium and a super alloy. I don't even have a way to get uranium. Oxygen tank's not going to do anything. Jesus, this grass spreader is going to be nice. Seed Lerma, how much of that do I have? A lot. Uh, where's my regular crafting station? Oh, I already have agility boots. So, two fabric and two super alloys. Titanium and aluminum is what I need right now. Titanium. Aluminum. One, two. Take off my agility boots. Two fabric. And bam. There we go. And I could get an exoskeleton too, which I already have, so I can't get an exoskeleton too. Titanium, magnesium, aluminum. Titanium, magnesium, aluminum. 280. I already have a tier 3. Yep, that's what I... I was like, it seems really easy to craft a tier 4. I can't craft the tier 4. Grab all of our iron. We're gonna need it. So we will leave everything we have behind right now. 
Not everything, I mean. We will leave all our power, all our resource stuff behind. I know it would be smart to bring it along, because then we can just uh, dismantle it later. And use it to upgrade it at some point, but I feel like if we're moving our entire base, it'll just be too tedious to bring everything. Maybe the heaters, since those are expensive and the iridium's hard to come by right now. That's I know, I have a lot of iridium in the backlogs. And do not need it. Alright, craft some more lockers real quick. Because I don't like my locker setup. Oh my lord, this is horse shit. So tedious. There we go. Now. Now that's a locker setup I can get behind. So we have iron and titanium, silicon, and magnesium, our miscellaneous, consumable stuff. Alright, it should only be two more trips. Two trips of two minutes long, but only two more trips. It's gonna be more than two more trips. Just because I have to clear up my storage lockers. Which man that's it probably isn't as much as I'm thinking it is. But still a lot nonetheless. Alright, at most three trips. At most three trips. By the time we're all done with this, phase two will be done with the planet. The clouds will be all built and whatnot. So we're just stalling, really. There we go, clouds. Oh my lord, this is going to be horrendous. It's going to be so many trips. It's going to be so many trips. And I can't leave it behind because it defeats the purpose of going to a location with more resources. As if I just leave it all behind and then I grab the resources of that new location, then it's gonna have no more resources. I think I just grab. I think after this, I just grab what I want to take. Leave everything else there. Iron, titanium, silicon, magnesium can stay. Uh, all the important resources. It's a lot of back and forth. But I do like the spot we're in. We're next to a wreckage site. There's some even more wreckage over there. We have a cave system, wreckage over that way. It's nice. Where we're at is nice. And an iron. I do need water. Start crafting some things. What do we need for a crafter? Iron and silicon. Iron. Silicon. Tier 1 crafting station.
There we go. Actually, probably would have been better if we uh, just drank a water bottle at the other base. Two more trips. Two more trips, that's it. Two more trips, that's it. Two more, and we are done. Dunzo. Nada. Gone. Permanent home. Probably not permanent home, but for now, permanent home. Which makes no sense, because then technically it's not a permanent home, but I say what I want to say. Running out of my drinks, so I'm going to have to get some more of that too. Alright, let's see. What do I really need right now? Grab all you guys and I guess grab the rest of you. After that, we will grab... What are you grabbing? Oh, fuck. Hey, Fabian. Hey. Uh, I'm spending... I've spent the past 15 minutes moving bases in this game. Are you streaming right now? Yes, sir. Nice. Uh, I'm going out of the store. Are we going to play Overwatch at all tonight? Probably. Alright. I was talking about it earlier, that I want to do Overwatch, but I don't want to solo queue. I solo queued a little bit last night, bro. Absolute ass. Like, it wasn't even, like, the enemy team, or, like, the other, like, my allies. It was me, man. I was... <laughs> like, you ever just, Ew. like, perform so bad, but you no. just start to hate yourself? No, I'm a Kariko main. I can't perform bad. <laughs> this is completely false. I will say I performed bad up until Kuriko got playable in Overwatch. Then I started actually being good. No, no. I don't <laughs> think I had a sing I don't think I had a Kuriko isn't a damage fucking healer though. But zero is very bad. <laughs> yes, but Kuriko isn't a damage healer, so it's excusable. Yes. Yes, but you, you I don't think you're understanding my point. My I don't think you understand my point. I feel like you think, I just got off of work, man. I feel like I'm gonna, you know, oh. kiss you on the lips, dog. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you should, dude. Maybe you should. I, I just got off of work. I'd be tired. That's fuck, boy. I will say, if we have room, paid. Marcos wants to join. Ah, uh, we probably won't. But I would prefer Marcos over Brandon. <laughs> you don't like Brandon? I hate him. I was gonna say Brandon's a really good fucking can't. teammate. No, I mean no. Yes and no. You just don't like his I don't personality. Like him as a person. Yeah, I don't like him as a person. That makes and sense. No, I, I, say, I say yes and no is because he's not bad, but he acts like he better. He's better than he actually is. I can see you know? that. I can see that. Grant does that too, but Grant's fucking around when he does it. Grant gets my nerves when he tries to coach. Even though, like, the order of, like, best players will probably go, like, Jeremy, then me, then Brandon, and then Grant, uh -huh. out of the four of us. But that's just because me and Jeremy have, like, hours of Overwatch time, right? Yeah. Jeremy beats me tenfold. But when I try hard, like, that one time, I don't even know if you were there, but I was just coaching the entire time. I just sat, uh, I was, like... I strained my back with turtleneck for a second. Uh-huh. And just just started coaching the entire like team and then it's like I led everybody to victory. Like I'm actually good at doing that, but I don't like I don't like tryharding. Yeah. Grant has this knack of like trying to call things out when it's not the entire problem. Or he'll start saying like this is happening and this is the issues. But it's one of those things like <laughs> Like, he's not entirely wrong, but he doesn't know what he's talking about, you know? Yeah, I get that. So. One more, it's when, like, when, when were you, you thinking we're going to play, by the way? I'm going to be hopping on you in a second here. Oh, I'll say that. Right. I want to get home from work. I'm gonna, I was saying call, but uh, I'm going to be heading home right now. 
Well, I'm gonna need you to entertain my stream because I gotta go to the bathroom in like a minute and I also gotta get oh, more water. Oh, jeez. I can't do that, man. I believe in you, yeah. baby, and you got this. It's not gonna be right now. It's just gonna be in a sec. Oh, yes. I'm at the store right now trying to get monster for my coworker because she said she wanted a monster. Uh, uh, Are you still at work? Or... Monster. No, I'm not at work. I'm off. Oh, it's you're just... just stopping by and getting her a monster. Hey, so when you hide a yeah. little quashy washy? No, she's gay. Oh. That doesn't mean you can't have a crush. She's just a... No. You could. She's just a good friend. Fabian, Fabian. Giga, Giga Brain <laughs> Play. Go transgender. Oh my, don't you dare. Go transgender. <laughs> Become become transgender now she can date you. Holy shit, bro! The Dude, actual power move. Time to be alive <laughs> right now. Holy shit! No, I mean she's cute, but she's not like my type. So she's ugly, is what you're saying? That's not what I said at all. What? Fabian thinks this girl he has a crush on is ugly. That's I don't even have a crush on her. I don't know if this is grape or not. It just says ultraviolet. What does that fucking mean? Uh, it means ultraviolet. Duh. It says, like, monster ultraviolet. What the fuck flavors? Is it's that grape? It's probably grape. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's what I'm, like, thinking. I'll tell you right now, it's a 90% chance it's grape. It's not great, but I just read it and it's not. I don't know what the fuck that is, man. I don't have anything. Maybe I should. I did a gas station? Well, oh, I got an idea. I'm gonna hit a Walgreens. Walgreens probably has it. Better than, more, probably better than Ashes. Mm. Well, I just like it. Kind of like you. I blame you for it though. I like to get my friends stuff, but she's my favorite coworker to work with. What do you mean you blame she's me? She's also her... But I blame you for the idea that I like to get people stuff. Why is that my fault? Because you always got me stuff, so I end up feeling bad and in a mental way to pay back. I pass it forward, kind of thing. So it's my fault. You 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 gave me good habits to pass it forward. I think fuck you. And... <laughs> but no. Um. What was I saying? No. My coworker though, she's really, really cool. She's like, I generally enjoy talking to them a lot. Like they're really... It's one of those things that's like purely platonic, but you just really enjoy talking to them. No, I get that. I get that. It's like. And that's so why I'm kind of glad that they're gay because it keep it kind of forces things to be platonic in the first place. You should tell her that. I'm, I'm glad you're gay. <laughs> I should. I should. No, it's because I'm not attracted to them, like myself. And it just kind of cuts out the possibility that they could be attracted to me and make things messy. You know. It makes sense. It makes sense. So it's like a, it's a good like oh nothing's ever gonna happen. There's no possibility. I have other friends. Who are girls who I'm not attracted to, who I keep a platonic, but like the idea that they might be attracted to me one day is still kind of there. Yeah. I do want to remind you I am streaming, so everything you say goes on the internet. You think I care? I just make sure. Just making sat sure. Down just making talk. sure. Just making sure. I literally sat down on my own stream talking about how I screwed up sadly with Claire. So I talked about- I literally like went on a whole thing about it. Um, like own. I said, just making sure. Sure. Sure thing. Yes. I don't think the time that worked for me. I think I worked. Oh no. Tomorrow's the 27th, right? Tomorrow is not the 27th. Wait, do I- am I off now? Tomorrow is the twenty fifth. No, is I was I was talking to myself because my friend wants to get talkers tomorrow. 
But I don't know my schedule, so I'm looking at it now. The only reason I'm back here, guys, is because I need this fucking antenna tower. These guys aren't worth it. What happened? Nothing. I just grabbed things from my old base. And it's, I'm now putting them back and I realize I don't need to grab them at all. <laughs> Sneeze on me again. I dare you, Fabian. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what the fuck is that? I don't know what I do. They really do not have grape anywhere. A grape does not exist. They probably have grape somewhere, you're just not looking hard enough. I'm looking for this red bull too. It's called the fig, I think. It's called the fig. I think. That's what they said. That's awesome. I put a fucking object halfway in the ground, and it's also sideways. No clue how I did it, but that's its life now. People are going to be so sad when I tell them they had none of these things. I don't know what they get done. Just get them something that's not a monster. They're like, oh, I thought you said a fucking bang. Because I want to bang you. <laughs> that's, that's not. Maybe you should just hang out with me more. I'm a fucking flirt. Dude, I I would love to hang out with you more. I need to get well, out. We didn't live in fucking Litchfield. Well, you're the other one who moved away. You're the one who lives in Litchfield still. Yeah, my point still stands. You're the one who moved away from Litchfield. Technically, I didn't have a choice. I was like a child, and I had to stay with my parents. Uh, you could have, you know, I don't know, marry me or something. I don't know. Just, no, Fabian, it wasn't on the table at the time, all right? You know we were going through issues well, at the time. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't. I just was a brat for some reason, too, and I feel bad. You shot me in the head with a fucking BB gun. That was an accident. That and I still remember it. Anger. I still remember it. They're like, it's not loaded. It'll be fine. The safety's on. Bah! Safety failed, bro. You still don't, you still don't aim should... a gun at someone. I was literally in middle school. So I was I, Fabian. Fabian, I so was I. And I literally told you not to. Your dad was a police officer. Your dad was a police officer. I could have sued you. I should have sued you. Oh my god. For a fifth grader shooting you in the head. Yes, sir. Accident, with a BB gun. I think yes, I just left it like a little sir. dot on your head, didn't I? It was, yeah, it was like a little small bruise. But I could have lost an eye. You could have if I actually aimed at you. I, I have like a small. Like, I feel like you shouldn't have been aiming at be me honest. at all, to be honest. I should have not have. You're your very. Your very I have a small temptation to be like, I couldn't find... I'm doing it. I'm gonna... I couldn't find your rock stars, so I'm gonna get them this Minecraft toy. Yes! Do it! <laughs> I'm doing it. I just find it funny. It's like, I'm sorry, I couldn't find a rock star. sent to the Megoria 3 here. planet. If you see this Minecraft Minecraft near, maybe you're a planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious, I'm running out of resources, not enough on the thermal. I don't know why it shows his death. This death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can send me help, please do. I don't know how to send you help, but if I can figure it out, I will. Alright, bathroom Probably time, Fabian. Keep everyone entertained. 
Oh god. I just Here, the, put, put, on your, put, on, put on your face. Put on your face and show everyone. Like, they're gonna... No. Okay, well. Keep everyone entertained. Okay. Well, you guys can be checking out. Thank you. Uh, bye. What the fuck just happened? Just check it out. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I was just talking to the girl. I didn't even say anything to your stream. I was checking out. I thought you were going to be sorry. Then. So I, I couldn't find the Red Bull, so I bought them the tiny Minecraft toy. What? Yo, true gamer. Actual. Uh, sure. I don't even know what this is. I, I have no idea what this is. The funny thing is, I bet you they're going to be excited. Probably. I would be excited. I would too. It's like this weird, like, it's called Minecraft 12 Minecraft characters to collect. Case and clips. You will find tundra snow or amethyst ooze or something like that. I guess, 10 levels of adventure. It's like a tiny ass toy. It's like breaking right now, but you know, I bought it for like go with your idea. <laughs> Why do I do the things that I do, man? Cause it's funny. Yeah. Cause I've, I've went like five times now to go get them an energy drink and I couldn't find one that they wanted. So I'm just like, <laughs> and I saw this toy. So I was walking back, I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. Dude, this thing was expensive though. I thought it was gonna be like five bucks. This thing was ten dollars. But I was I was too far to go back, you know. Oh yeah, god, I'm being sure hissed that. on. Wait, why? What are you doing? It's raining. What are you even playing? Oh, it's called Planet Crafter. You basically are a convict, you get sent to a planet to create an ecosystem on it. Yada yada. You're supposed to be sent to fail, pretty much. And if you get it done, then good shit. You know what confuses me? Last Sexuality. of Us, part one. Okay. Last of Us got reworked, or remastered. And got like the you know, Last of Us part one. But they didn't bring that to PC when they were already planning on bringing Last of Us, the first one, to PC. It's funny, because Last of Us 2 sucked ass. Yeah, but Last of Us 1 is still good. I thought Last of Us 2 was just decent. I thought it was disappointing. It wasn't terrible. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't play it. I just know people are like, this game sucks ass. I thought it was just disappointing. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was just a big-ass disappointment. Like, it wasn't garbage. It just wasn't, like, what people wanted or expected. Or just wasn't the quality that everyone was holding in two, you know? Yeah. <sighs> I, mean, I don't know, man. I was trying to say. My, my coworker's gonna laugh. Huh? So, or where's not? Where's not? <laughs> Matt, so I couldn't, I couldn't find any of your energy drinks. ran out of power. This sucks. Power. How are we gonna do this? Probably just go for the solar panels.
a little platform for them. Oh, yeah, that should be enough, right? Do you have enough power now? Yeah. Alright, you know what that means? We go run back and grab some shit. After we get more power, though, because we do need more. Magnesium is what we need right now. Silicon, cobalt, cobalt. Silicon. Cobalt, cobalt. We toss all the titanium and one iron. It was it was a success, Caleb. It was a success? A giant success. I got, like, everyone's attention. Let's fucking go. Causing a disruption in your own work. Actually. We're making a lot of progress, I will say that. I passed out at my work, though. Like, oh. like, fainted or went to bed? I like went to bed. Okay. I got off of work. I, I sat down on my um, like at the tables for like thirty seconds. And I just straight down the out bro. It's funny. I only got like two to three hours of sleep. I have an injury in my arm, right? Uh huh. So I just been hurting really bad. This has been hard for me. So I'm probably going to settle by and stuff, and then head home, and then I don't know. I'll probably hop on and do stuff with you. All right. If you want to do that. I don't know yeah. if you want to do that. Like I'm down for literally whatever, man. I'm probably, I saw the God of War. It's on Steam. It's on, ah, say it on me. On Steam. I might do that. Let's see, I'm gonna stay in the vlog. Let's have a good day. It's always nice talking to somebody on my way home, you know? Yeah. We're almost done. We are almost done. I might finish it in my free time. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. Finish it in my free time. But I want to keep playing. The thing is, I want to finish it in my free time. Which would require me to stop playing the game. Because there's still a whole bunch of shit I need to get. But I don't want to stop playing. Or streaming. I don't want to stop streaming either. So maybe maybe we just stop uh, going back and forth right now. I think that's the play. Stop going back and forth. Finally finish looting this. Finish looting whatever's in there. Kind of left some stuff in there. And then go into this cave. If I deconstruct this, all right. The journey all to my house begins now. Let's go. It's going to be walking home. I like walking though, so I don't mind it. I got a jacket on, so we we big chillin'. Bing chillin'. Bing chillin'. Bing chillin'. 
But, um, no. Dude, I, <laughs> I, like, shot in the dark, completely missed for, like, one of my friends, right? Uh-huh. So, like, I asked one of my friends, I was like, yo. She's like, um, oh, I'm looking for, <laughs> like, yeah, like, I'm looking for someone to, like, go out with and stuff and hang out with, right? Uh-huh. And I was like, hey, do you, do you have any friends? Any of your friends, like, are single or something like that? I was like, my friend. My name Rebecca. She's a pretty cool person. I was like, hey, do you have any, like, any of your friends that are single or some shit, right? Uh-huh. And she's like, no, they wouldn't like you. And it just, it just hit. Get fucked. <laughs> it's just, like, an arrow to my heart. It's like, no one, none of her friends would like me. It's like, ow. Thing is, she's an honest person, so if they wouldn't like me, I probably wouldn't like them. They're probably actually like cool people, and I'm just a nerd. Sorry. Hey, you can be a cool and a nerd. Look at me. The opposite of both. Exactly. <laughs> Man, this is so funny. Just because I'm like taking active steps to like be different, uh -huh. right? than I was like eight months ago. Which is like, talking about that actually. So I went through like the five stages of grief, right? With like Claire and shit like that, right? Yeah. So I was like slowly transitioned it from like, I hate myself, I hate myself to like, to like how I am now. It's just like processing it as like, all right, I needed that to happen so I can actually take a step in a good direction as a person. Yeah. You know? Like, I'm not gonna, I was never gonna be able to fix any of those problems unless I fucked up this badly. Uh -huh. You know? So, it's like one of those what things. What the fuck? Like, no this cave is awesome. What happened? Just like, it happened. It kind of had to happen. Just so I can learn. Yeah. Unfortunately, it sucks. But hey, now I can take active steps to be different. And yeah. that's what I've been doing. Well, and good for you, man. But, it took like eight months for it to like process and finally go through, but you know. But hey, at least it happened. Like, yeah. That's true. But it's like, yeah, I still, I still love her, and yeah, I would love to talk to her again and be like friends with her again, right? Yeah. But you know, that's if she ever wants to message me. I hope she does someday. But you know, but I'm not gonna let that hold me back. So I'm trying to talk to act. I'm trying to actively talk to other people. Try to. I've been more flirtatious with people. Good more shit, my man. Or like actually like been trying to get into like. I won't say relationships, but trying to like talk to people and get connections. Yeah. Well, that's good. Those, those are the first steps. Down. I've been shot down a lot just because I'm not really good at it yet. But, you know, compared to how I was with Claire, I'm no longer a mess. It's just a lot of bad habits, too. I think I've talked about this many times before. But I fixed a lot of bad habits because Claire kind of made me realize how bad it actually was. Yeah. You know? Because, like, I fixed my eating habits, right? Sleeping uh -huh. habits. I think, um, I learned how to fucking drive, you know? Instead of just being a loser. Uh -huh. And not knowing how to drive, I learned how to drive. I did all this. I just oh, whoa, changed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is what does being a loser have to do with driving, Fabian? Uh, I just saw myself as a loser because I couldn't drive. No, no, no! You, you, you are. But just because you can drive doesn't <laughs> change the fact. <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> but no, I've I've become more like active participant in my life. I st I'm no longer just like take shit. I fight back, you know? You're more of an active per uh, participant of society. Yeah, it's just, yeah I, I guess, yeah. I, don't I, know, I just wanted to say something that sounded smart. That... <laughs> but I also realized a lot of things I was saying was bad. And it wasn't really me. It was just a lot of judgment. Things that I thought I should have said, things I thought I should be saying. Babe, babe, like, it wasn't me. me, it wasn't me, it was my other personalities. Babe, I promise me, I know I called you a whore and fat, but it wasn't me, babe. 
No, I, I would say stuff to Claire that I, I probably shouldn't have I, I shouldn't have said, not probably. I just said a lot of stuff to Claire that I shouldn't have been saying. I get know? that. And I didn't know, you know? It came from a place of ignorance, not from a place of trying to hurt. I get that. And then, but a lot of the stuff I started to like think that they wanted to hear, I just started saying, but I didn't actually believe it. One major thing is that I would fight for my friend, when, even though I thought that they were kind of like, didn't matter. I was still trying to defend them just because I thought I wouldn't hurt to see that I, I don't play bias, you know? Uh-huh. And then it, it just didn't pan out well. It, it seemed like I, it just kind of seemed like I didn't take her side. For, or like I tried getting involved in like something that's so trivial, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, mean, I just, I just stopped being myself pretty much. And now I just don't care anymore. I, I took it, and now I'm in the spot, and I'm talking to people, man. I'm not even trying to actively talk to different girls. I'm not trying to be like a whore or a hoe or anything like that, like a player. We don't call that, Fabian, it's not called a whore or a hoe, it's called a fuckboy. I'm not trying to just be that. No, because I'm not going for one night stand. I need, I need to teach you terminology, that. Fabian. I, I'm learning, man. I'm, I'm learning. Not but, once no, in my I, life have I ever heard anyone be like, damn, that guy's a hoe. I've heard, I've heard it. But, um, no, I, it's like, it's not like I'm trying to talk to multiple people at once. It's just, I'm trying to talk to somebody. And if this one person doesn't work, I move on to the next. Exactly, right? that's how it should be. And it's not even just, and it's not even like, oh, if they are interested in me or not. It's whether I'm interested in them as well. Like, I could be interested in them at the start, but once I get to know her more, you just kind of lose interest, you know? That uh -huh. happened a few times. There's this girl I was talking to, right? She seemed yeah. really, really nice and cool. And she was a good person, right? She was pretty and she was cool and talking to. But she's as I talked to her more, I just realized it just it wasn't interested. It just couldn't click, you know? Yep. We just, we just weren't clicking. And it wasn't anything bad. They weren't a bad person or anything like that. It's just like similar interests, but like different like interests at the same time and like you know you're both to be gamers but you play different games kind of d yeah kind of thing how like you're gay and play league and i'm cool and play other games holy shit bro well it's like similar idea right or like we both it was that we both liked anime but we like different animes and different types of stuff right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and then or just like we both liked art and stuff, but they like different interests, and I didn't really care for it. Yeah. And none of it was bad. It's just that that's just how the cookie crumbled, you know? Yeah. I, I didn't mind it. I was it's, like talking to her. I was it's just, how it be. As I'm saying, it's just how it is, man. Sometimes it happens that way, sometimes it doesn't. Like, it's. Be like that sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's not like I, um... Hey, just because I eat looking. babies, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know why people get... F I don't know why people freak out about the fact. Like, oh, you're not supposed to eat children? Uh, yeah, sure you aren't. <laughs> but it's like, you know, a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff. I've occurred. I will say, though, my, my biggest issue that I have is I do panic a little bit. Especially when it comes to the idea of seeing Claire. So. My brother, yeah, it is completely panic. fine to panic. I had a panic oh, yeah. attack literally three nights ago because I was like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? I have no one. I got nothing. And then I was like, all right, I'm calm now. And then I had another panic attack. I'm like, I don't even have people to talk about panic attacks with. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I'll get too, like, I will admit, man, like, I will just start thinking about her, right? And just be like, man, I miss this, or I miss this. Be like, okay, but what if I talk to her again? And I start panicking the idea that we talk again, and I just keep on messing up, you know? And it's just like, it's like irrational, like, I shouldn't even be thinking about kind of stuff, but it just yeah. happens. And it's not a bad thing. It's not like it's on my mind 24-7, it just happens occasionally. Because, you know, I, I did love Claire. I, I actually, like, loved her. Yeah. It wasn't, like, some flame for me, at least. Like, she's still on my mind, still in my heart. 
And I don't think that's going to change until I find someone new. Yeah. Like, I gen- that's like my genuine belief right now. Like, not someone to replace, but like, until I get a new experience, I'm not going to love anyone else or but Claire until I find someone that I just end up loving. And yeah. I get that. Like, it's not that, like, oh, oh, it's a rebound kind of thing. It's more so, well, I had all this time with Claire. I fell in love with her. I loved her. And now I'm taking my time to move on. And maybe, and I said, like I said this before, like, maybe me and Claire do talk again and we get back together. I'm not praying on it. I'm not expecting it to happen. I actually have the belief that me and Claire are never going to talk again. I don't know, but... I, I do believe that, like, um, these would pan out fine for me. And they will. I am trying to, like, get out, like, yeah, so. I want to talk to more people, though. Like, like, genuinely, like, I'm actually, like, in a state of, like, holy shit, dude, I got no one to talk to. No, oh, yeah, I've been there, too. Like,. Like, fucking, yeah, me and Marcos don't talk anymore, and me and Trixie fucking ended things off. You're always with your other friends. Not your fault, but it's still you're always with your other friends, so we don't really have time to talk. It's not even that. It's just, uh, you don't mess with, we don't mess with each other. I don't That's like true. I have a bad habit of not talking to people in general. I don't, I don't like putting my problems with other people, so it's like, I'm just not gonna talk about them. No, I say, but that's that's just our friendship, though, that we can go, like, periods of time not talking to pick up, like, right where we started. Yeah. Like, we could not talk for I, months, I, and then I, the I, second I, we see each other, we'll just start, you know, going oh, oh, to each other. It's just that simple. Jeez. So, no, like, when when I broke up with Claire, you already knew I took, like, three months away from, like, everybody. Except for that one group of friends, right? Yeah. But, like, I just didn't talk to anybody. Mainly I didn't talk to you because I felt like this story was repetitive, right? Uh-huh. And it was. Yeah, because I told you to <laughs> end things, and you were like, yeah, I will. And then a week later, you were like, I did it again. I know, man. I'm sorry. Like, I just couldn't stop, man. No, I get it. I get it. 100% like, get it. I get it. Like, it makes sense why it happened. I'm ashamed of it. I hate that I did that. I wish I never did. Because I never would have been blocked if I didn't do that, you know? But you gotta think Me about it. Claire, Maybe yeah, block, can... blocking was a good thing. That's what I take it as. Like, I needed... I said, like I said, this is the beginning of the competition. I needed that to happen for me to change. Which is why I told you to block I mean, her. Actually... I know. But I can't go back in the past. Shit already happened. She blocked me. But we're, yeah. in, a better, we're in a better place. It's like, as a person... Like, as a human being, I am in a ten times better spot than I was. Not because, um, like, oh, like, oh, she, she, now that she's gone, I can actually, like, beat, like, my, no. It took her losing that amazing person in my life to realize how fucked up I actually am, you know? Yeah. And it, it happens, man. Right? Sometimes you are the bad guy. And I was the bad guy there. And I didn't want that to be true, but it was. I was a bad guy. I That's was a good song. Guy. Huh? So that's a good song. What, I Was the Bad Guy? No, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. Uh, no. <laughs> but, like, no, like, generally, though, like, I, I wouldn't have changed unless Claire blocked me. Even if I blocked her, I probably would unblock her in, like, two weeks to talk to her. I'm progressing so fucking quick Dang, right now. I just couldn't... Like, now, if she messaged me now, I don't know how things would be, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, I try, like I said, I try not to think about it too much. And I'm just trying to move on and talk to other people. Like I said, though, I suck at doing it, though. Especially, it was especially stuff because a lot of people might work. Like a lot of the girls, at least the ones that I've attractive, are either taken, underage, or, um, you, you gotta love when they're underage. It was the worst fucking thing. You talk to them, or, you do all this uh, shit, and then it's like, yeah, I'm like 
13, and it's like, you know what? I'm done talking. No, no, actually, there was this girl. I thought she was so cool and attractive, and she was working a morning shift. So I was like, you know, the idea of like, oh, you're in a fast food working morning shifts, you're probably, you know, above 18, or like you think so, right? Yeah. Talking to her, and I find out she's 17. I'm like, fuck, man, come on. Instantly backed out. Immediately. Yeah, it fucking, it's horrible. Right. It's like, fuck, man. Like, I don't, I don't even want to play like the, oh, I want to wait two months or kind of shit. No, we like, call, oh, we call that like, grooming. Just... We call that grooming and that is not allowed. It's just, it just seems like morally and ethically wrong. So I just back the fuck out of it, you know? Yeah. Like, everyone, like, all the other people are just like, dude, it's fine, you're fine, you know, blah, 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 you're not that far for, like, a part in A. Like, bro, to me, it just feels wrong. And that's how like, I see me, it. If, like, if it's wrong to you, then you shouldn't be doing it. Which is what I told this one girl who's fucking flirting with me all the time. I'm like, you are literally 17, I don't want to groom or date you, and she keeps fucking flirting with me. And I'm like, please stop, it's weird. Dude. But nothing's worse than this 15 year old that does his accent pick me. And I, I, I ha we had to report it. Like, we had to do report it. Because it's not just me, she does it to She does it to everyone. That's like above age. If you're above 18, she starts flirting with you for no fucking reason. I mean, I, I mean, I get it. But the thing is, they look their age, man. They're 15. Like, I don't even know how they have a job. They're 15. And they're working and they're flirting with, like, 22 year olds, 20 year olds. She like came up to me, touched my chest, and said, "Oh my god, you look so good today!" Like, "Oh my god, do you like work out and like doing all that's that like weird. basic flirting?" Thing. That's just <laughs> weird. <laughs> Into my arm, she like like ha like touched my arm. Said, "Oh my god, are you okay?" And she's like, "Bro, don't fucking touch me." Dude, she does the <laughs> same thing. She touches me all the time, and I'm like, "Please stop! It's weird." It's like. I get it, it's like in your head, it might be like, oh, it's only a few years. The thing is, in my head, in my adult brain, this is highly, like, even if it's not illegal because of Romeo and Juliet law, whatever bullshit. Yeah. Like, which is like, the, you know, for I think in Arizona it's two years. So. It, Romeo and Juliet law is only ethical in my eyes if you guys were in high school together. It's only ethical if you were in a relationship prior, you know? Yeah. Or, like, knew each other in high school and shit. You had to have known each other while you were both in high school for it to make fucking ethical sense. In my eyes. I mean, I think, to be, I agree to the same extent, but I think I also find it to some leverage in the sense of, like, oh, you guys didn't know each other prior, but, like, you're 18, they're 17, like, junior, senior kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't Ethics is a weird, weird topic. And, and yeah, true. It's all, it kind of gets kind of opinionated sometimes. So. But, like I said, the point still stands. I back out with the underage crap. It's like, you get, you get shocked, man. Like, some people don't look their age. Some people don't. Like, do you, do you be like, oh my god, they're so fucking attractive, right? My oh, favorite man, thing wanna... is the gamble of, like, I don't want to ruin the relationship I have with this person, but I know if I ask them for their age and or if they're dating anyone, they're going to immediately know and it's going to be awkward. So it's the, it, it's the thing of, it's the thing of, you need to figure it out around it. I don't even give a shit, bro. I just asked directly. You know, that's how I am, because I know a lot of people, like, relationships will get ruined because you ask someone, hey, I like you, and I would like to be a thing, and like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm young, or like, oh, sorry, I have a boyfriend. Then they get really awkward, and they oh, don't want to talk to you anymore. I thought you were saying, like, asking people their age. I'm like, I just fucking ask them, man. I'll ask them their age. I was like, dude, what the fuck? Like, I was like, how old are you? And they'll say, like, whatever, I'm like, okay, yeah, so you're 17, looking ass, bitch ass, piece of, you know, start making fun of them or some shit. Whatever, whatever the context of why I'm asking their age, I'm just straight up asking, man. Or if I'm curious, I'll ask them. Just like, how old are you? I'm just curious. I would just say something like that. Baby doesn't like a man. I'm a pussy. I don't fucking care, man. Just because someone asks age does not mean you're hitting on them. It's not. It's mainly the asking for if they have a boyfriend or not. 
No, I also asked. Curiosity wise. I think the last time I asked someone out, I was like, hey, do you want to go to a concert with me? I got an extra ticket. She's like, is there another one? Because I have a boyfriend. And she's like, it's not as a date, right? And I'm like, you know, it's better we don't go. Oh, man, that, that sucks. Like, it, it sucked. It actually sucked a lot. And then I didn't see her for like a week because we didn't work together. So I'm like, damn, I hope our relationship isn't ruined. But she's a very, really fucking chill person. And I like her as a friend a lot. Like, we fuck around so much at work. Dude, that was me. That was me with this one friend. And this was what I was talking about earlier. I said a friend named Rebecca. And this is not the bad Rebecca from the past. No, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So she, she got into contact with me, and we're like, I don't know, I was just, I don't know when this was, but I will admit, kind of like a piece of shit move here, but I was, just got with a breakup with Claire, you know, this was like a month or two after uh -huh. the breakup, and it was kind of like an idea of like, replacing Claire, or trying to at least. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, when you're, you know, when you're emotionally damaged, you don't think straight, right? Yeah. But I was like tiptoeing around it. Like I didn't want to like try to anything, right? Yeah. But like I was just talking to her. I talked to her a lot, trying to figure out things, see how she was. And just trying to be a good friend first. And then it just slowly like transitioned to like, man, I actually don't like her. Like, just a good friend. But then it's like at the same time, like, but at the same time, I'm lonely and I want to. Like, that her, always like, sucks when the loneliness kicks in and you're like, you know, maybe I, I'll try it out, see if it works. Yeah. But deep down, you know, it's like, it's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what fucking happened. I mean, like, I didn't even try anything. I didn't even say anything yet. But we're just talking and I find out she has a boyfriend. Instantly killed everything in my, at that time, at least, in that day. I was like, fuck, man, blah, 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 blah. But like genuinely, I'm glad that that happened soon enough before I tried anything stupid. But like, no man, it, it sucks finding out they have a boyfriend. Like it really does. It's horrible. Because like you like think you have a shot or a chance, maybe something can work. Yeah, you put yourself in a vulnerable position and then immediately get fucking shut down. It's a horrible thing. Mhm. Mm like it sucks, but you know at the same time, shit happens. You know. What can you do about it? Shit just fucking happens. Exactly the mindset. Hey, Shit happens and there's nothing you can do. You shot yeah, your yeah. shot, it didn't work. Fucking move on. It's true. And that was me... Recently. I shot my shot with this girl. Her name was Elise. Right? Mm-hmm. Got my shot with her. I thought it was interesting. I thought I had a shot. But then I just wasn't attracted because I found out one big flaw. They're a big ass fucking hoe. Kind of. She's a fucking really. racist. No, she she has an OnlyFans, right? Oh fuck. Now how yeah, bad's the OnlyFans? Only Is it lewd or nude? Uh, also, can I get the link? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> lewd. It was lewd. Oh, lewd's fine then. In my opinion, lewd's fine. I think. I didn't I didn't go to the link. I just in her marketing, I think it's just all lewd in her marketing, so I figure it's lewd. Then again, yeah. whatever brings in the yeah. fucking money. Yeah, I guess. But it's just like, I didn't want to deal with that, man. I, didn't, I just don't want that. No, I get that. Because I'm, I'm... And then just the way they portray themselves on social media, it's like it just wasn't attractive to me. It just seemed like whole-ass behavior, right? I completely I just didn't really be get that. that. I just didn't- I just didn't fuck with it, man. I just didn't want to be a part of that. And then... I just- I told her, like, hey, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Like, I'm sorry. It's, like, I'm not saying you don't have to do your stuff, but I'm just not going to be involved with this. You know? Just left it there. And then I get you stopped talking. It's, like, it's not a bad thing. It's like, I don't feel... feel bad or anything. I mean, I kind of do. But it's like... Like, fuck, man, shit just, just doesn't work sometimes. There's some things that I don't want in a relationship, and I just didn't want that. And that's yeah. fine. It's a fine thing. Want... You have boundaries. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like, me and Claire were very similar in ideals, 
right? So I never had to talk, like think about that. But like now that I'm like getting out more, I'm realizing a lot of my ideals conflict with others. And it gets to like a, I just don't want that in my life kind of thing, you know? Yep. Especially, especially with college girls, because college girls get like very ho-ass behavior. At least in my eyes, I'll see it as such. I don't know, I've never met a college girl. You never, you never met a college girl? Nope. You know what I mean by that, though, right? Like, it's super, like, party, party, hardy. Uh, no, not really. Hey. Okay. Well, it's just, like, these girls at ASU who just party a lot, you know, betray themselves and, like, revealing clothing and whatever bull other bullshit and kind of, like, make it where, like, their personality is just alcohol and weed. Maybe drugs as well. That's my entire personality. Jesus Christ. Not the alcohol part, but the weed. But um, I just not, I just don't fuck with that, man. It's just not, not my thing. Like I don't, I'm not against it. I guess it's just not what I prefer. I get that. And then you get those, and then you get those mentally compromised people. I mean, by mentally I compromised. Just, mentally compromised being that. They're the people who have some major trauma or issues that they just have not dealt with. Oh, and yeah. you just don't and you just do not need to deal with that in your life right now, you know? That always sucks when they have past trauma. And they yeah, still haven't dealt have with it. Shit. You just gotta deal with it. And as I thing in my head, it's like fuck man, it's some like you are really attractive, you're fun to talk to, but I got my own stress in my life, I got my own issues. And you have a lot of issues that you need to deal with and with my own experience if you don't deal with those issues things aren't going to pan out well so i'm not going to talk to you you know yeah and of course there's like i've been shut down too more often than i shut other people down i have been shut down just by being ghosted people won't even tell me anything tell people tell me that they just want a one night stand and they're just not interested in me you know yeah i'm too short physical appearance you know I, don't, I mean, I'm not you, you, are, you are pretty short. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not even that short. I'm 5'7". What's that say? <laughs> Marcos, what's up? How long have you been here? Marcos? Marcos? Yeah, I just saw Marcos was in the fucking group chat, like, just now. Oh. I hope he joined when I laughed at you when you said you weren't short. Uh, <laughs> Fabian, you did not I say just... that. What did I say? Nothing. Marcus gets it. Listen, if you want to talk about tall, you have to stand next to me and Caleb. Dude, there are I'm times, not tall. There are times when not... Caleb and I are around other people together, and I'm like, damn. Bro, I, I used to be the I short admit... one. I admit, man, I'm not that tall. Like, it sucks, but I don't think I'm like that short. I'm not like five foot two. What are you? I'm five foot seven. Like, it's it's like it's yeah, it's small, but it's not like that. No, you're short. definitely not short. It's, I just love making fun of you. I love making well, fun of everyone. Yeah. Well, and it's just funny because we're actually like very tall. I wouldn't say very, we're at. Like, Caleb, aren't you guys like five foot ten, eleven? No. Uh, I'm so six, yeah. Caleb, yeah, I was gonna say Caleb, I think we're about like, the exact same height. Me and Marcus it's are literally not. the same exact build. Like, yeah, literally, he, we can Marcus wear the same exact dress. clothes, like anything. So many times, Marcus is like, hey, I need a shirt, and I'm like, just come over. Yeah, literally, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be wearing a work shirt when I come to hang out, and he's like, you need a shirt? Like, yes, please. I'm just short. Like, my height went somewhere else, man, that's all I'm gonna say. My toenails be pretty fucking big, if you ask me. But, but like, no, I don't think I'm that short, man. No, definitely. Like, I'll admit, I, I mean, like, like, admit. There is definitely like shorter. I will say that I there is definitely shorter. Like three years ago, or like four or five years ago, I think. I was there. I was there. <laughs> Marco stopped drinking coffee on the trip to Universal Studios with me, and ever since then he hit a growth spurt. Yeah, it could be coincidence. McDonald's. It could. Yeah, it was McDonald's. I think it, I think it was a coincidence, but it's still funny to say. It was in McDonald's. Like, we I went to McDonald's. McDonald's. My mom was like, "Do you want coffee?" And he's like, "You know what? I'm gonna stop cutting. I'm gonna start cutting back in coffee." And he started growing. Olivia's so in the I think game, that's just coincidence. 
Olivia That's coincidence. Bro, I... Uh, I think it's I mean, just I, jeans, I think Marcus. I might get one more. Get one more what? Growth spurt, I think they said. Yeah, you could. But they said, I think it's... They, they said, like, until I'm 21, they wouldn't really know for sure. Because my beard's not even fully grown yeah, in yeah, And my yeah. family... Yeah, right, you're Mexican. I say it's not uncommon. My what well, has to do with anything? Wait, I don't know. It's just I funny. Get, it was just funny the, making fun of him. It's just I funny saying it. I, I get the wise old Asian facial hair. No, Dude, spam risk not, from Waterbury, Kentucky. What the fuck? Impossible. Pick up the phone. I actually. Didn't. Um, and my family, our our genes run late, so like we don't like fully finish growing until like our twenties. Yeah, I thought you like, just muted in order to answer the spam. No, call. I'm not answering the fucking spam call from Kentucky. Why not, man? Fuck that. It's not important. They they got some they got some stuff they want to sell you, man. Or so you just invite they me to a game. Doing. Oh, you want to play? I'm, give me a give me a second, Marcos. Give me a second. Baby, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. if you want to play with us, you can. I can't uh, I invite you if you're not. I am walking out of my house. I must call my parents. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> fucking sucks. That my dad, yeah, my dad has a gate installed, and he locks it in instinct sometimes, and he Pop just it. forgot to unlock it for me. Pop I didn't it. bring the key. Pop it. Pop it like I it's hot. It's like pop it like it's, it's hot. Like... It... I'll show you. You can't hop it. Oh, you said hop it. I thought you said pop it. Pop it. I was so confused. Pop it to okay. start. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is this? Let me see. It it's like. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's like, like I. I you can't hop it. Like, honestly, dude, yeah, just to go like, through it. Literally, just go through it. Literally, just kick it as hard as you possibly can. No, I want to break it. It's expensive. Bro. It's for but, uh, I just gotta call my dad real quick. Actually, I could check my backyard. 